if you like vintage toys and you like unboxing videos, then you are in for a treat because I have a $3 box of vintage toys that I purchased at an auction. I only briefly skimmed the surface, so I'm not sure what's on the bottom or what all we have in here, but we're going to find out. So let's dive in and see what vintage goodies we can find. $3 box at an auction. I have not looked yet. I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing video with you all. From the start, it looks like a lot of Fisher Price. The main reason why I bought this, well, it was $3, and I thought that there's no way I could lose money by bringing this to the flea market. A dollar here, a dollar there, a couple bucks here, you know, it adds up. So a $3 investment can turn into a decent profit, and there might even be some pieces that might be worth putting online. But bringing these to the flea market allows me to bring a different type of item and also can draw in other buyers besides my usual paper buyers. So let's see what we have. I recognize this right from the start, a Fisher Price medical kit. <laughs> this is if you wanted to be a doctor. If everything is in here, that would be great. Oh, not too bad. I think actually everything is here, so that's great. These will need to be cleaned. If my memory serves me correctly, whoops. I thought the, this usually, oh it did. This always had, oh gosh, foam in it. And the foam usually is long gone. All this can be cleaned. So clean this up. Magic eraser works wonders. But everything else looks to be in good condition. Does this guy still work? Come on now. Gloves makes it hard, but it's a little chilly out. Yep, blood pressure is good. <laughs> this will give me a nice project to do today when it starts to rain because it's supposed to. Now, farm, but we are missing the lid and all of the farm animals. Is this Fisher Price? It looks like it. So I assume, yep, when the wheels go, her little wings turn around. Will have to be cleaned, but at least it's still in one piece. The market for these can be up and down. Some pieces are more collectible than others. It just depends. Then you also will have the people that will buy these because when they were little, they had it and they have been searching for it just at the flea market, you know, for their son or daughter or niece or nephew. Little slow. Still works. Easy clean. Uh, this says 66. Fisher Price, East Aurora, New York. It's a two tune TV. London Bridge and Row or Row Your Boat. We'll put that guy over there. What else? Ring ring. <laughs> Your classic Fisher Price phone. I have seen reproductions or remakes of these at Target. I actually bought one for my best friend's youngest daughter because I thought it would be fun in my eyes for her to have, you know, a kind of a, a vintage inspired toy. Normally when you pull this along, oh, I thought his eyes moved. This one, this is 61. So you have the wooden base. Later years, during the 80s, these were made from plastic. Um, the base, at least, was plastic. The uh, sticker part is a little bit wor you know, worn, so cleaning that will just take a little bit of extra um, caution because you don't want to get that wet. But the rest of it should be good to clean. Looks like we have another feathered friend. 
I guess great if you have twins or a little boy and a little girl. This guy, oh, it's Sesame Street. I've never seen this one. I've always seen the um, little stuff inside. Is it Mr. Roper's house or am I totally wrong? So this is the Sesame Street Clubhouse. Oh, there's people in there. All right, let's get this, let's get this going. I don't think this is part of it. This looks like it's, maybe it is a part of that. We have a little seesaw. A yo, I thought it was a yo-yo. Knots, made in USA. Yeah, it is a yo-yo. The O-ball, huh. I will have to look this up. There are avid yo-yo collectors out there if that is a yo-yo. So we always have a market for that. A medicine cup. <laughs> and then we have some bugs. And it looks like two people. The little girl, she has the wooden body and he has the plastic body. So here you can see the difference in the, the years or the dates. Wooden obviously is older than the plastic. And the Sesame Street house. That turns, and they have a little door on the back. David and Maria, Bert loves pigeons. <laughs> Doing the pigeon. That was probably my favorite episode as a child of Sesame Street. Now this, yes. <laughs> oh, I remember this well. It still works. We have the tortoise and the hare. Ball. Turn. The three men. Um, three men in the tub. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. I think that was them. Now, you can see. Look how faded that is. <laughs> oh. I guess that's to, uh, you can sit it on something. I've never seen that part in the back. Again. We'll see how these do at the flea market. I could be completely wrong and no one would want them, but it all depends. Um, a headless giraffe. Not sure what that is. Maybe the other pieces inside. Oh, they're all here. Is that it? I don't know. Cutie. Oh, this is a cutie. Jumping Jack. Jolly Jumping Jack in 1969. So this would usually hang over the crib. Now this would not be good for today's children. Choking hazards. Wait, we gotta get the full effect. Look how cute! <laughs> uh, what is nice, again, for cleaning purposes, you can easily clean the legs, which are just plastic, and you just have to be a little bit careful on the body because that is still a paper sticker label. Piano and xylophone. Piano phone. It says play and singing. For brighter, happier, healthier children and music friends. This might be good. Is the ladder in here? So this is Snoopy. Battery operated. <laughs> I love their little containers. Battery operated. Uh, how do I get that open? It does move. Oh, there we go. Oh, batteries are in there, but the good news is it doesn't look like there's any corrosion. So I'll just have to try some of the, I think those are D batteries. Made in China, uh, 1972. Unfortunately, the top part, the ladder is not there, unless it's somewhere in the box. Maybe it was in another box, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but this could be a, a good piece. Snoopy, you have collectors that buy past and present Snoopy items. So if not, it still has a nice look to it. Hopefully a good flea market piece. 
another item collectible, a talking alarm. This is Raggedy Ann and Andy in 1974. They also have, they were your classic like rag dolls and grandparents often buy them now for their grandchildren instead of the new baby dolls. Let's see. Oh, come on. I'll have to try it later to see if I can uns unstuck it. But if this still works and if it talks, then that could be a good piece too. Again, I'm just going out on the limb here. This could be worth a whole $3. But that's what I paid for the box, so. I think we're good with that. We have um, the bottom. We have an attic. Treasures in the attic, flowers in the attic. This map of Pooh Land. Oh man. This is probably Christopher Robin's house. I wonder where the bottom is. I did not see it there. Oh, we have some other goodies in here. We have the top of the barn. This cutie. Fisher Price toy, a little carrier, a little lunchbox. I'm guessing there was probably a little small little thermos to go in there. Top of the giraffe's head, fortunately. Kind of looks like the Toys R Us giraffe, Jeffrey. We have, oh, they're all in there. They survived the landing. <laughs> the Fisher Price airplane. We have a little fireman guy. More of the wooden. Whoops. So we have three wooden bases. Another fireman. This guy always looks so like, he's just had enough of his work day. He's like, I'm done with this. Take my safety hat and go. And then we have the dog. His ear is broken. He is plastic. The Fisher Price people, they also do well. It just depends on what kind you have and the condition that they're in. We have the airplane. There's another, I'm um, in the money with these. Oh geez. Oh look, there's like weevil wobble. Weevil and they wobble, but they don't fall down. These are animals. Huh. Another clubhouse. Is this the same? Oops. Yeah, I guess it is. No creatures inside. So. Stock on up on those. Stock up on those. And then we just have some little remnants. A Barbie World of Fashion book. With all the different kinds of Barbies and the car. The Silver Vet. What year is this? This has to be from the 80s. 1984. I'll take one of every one of these, please. Still on the package. We have a camper. Look how cute. And then I just have more people. Oh, another Weeble Wobble. We have some more dogs, more people, a boat. Part of a boat for the men in the tub. Look at that girl, Wendy. <laughs> and last but not least, a Black Widow Spider suction cup ring. <laughs> from the Fred Allen Novelty Company. Attach by suction cup to any smooth surface and have fun. All for a whopping 19 cents. This enormous spider looks alive. Glad I wasn't a real one. <laughs> but this will be good for Halloween decor. Put that baby out. Original packaging, still looks great. So we'll keep that spider in there. So that was quite a Fisher Price haul. Um, we have some Sesame Street, some of your classic activity centers, the farmhouse but with no animals. So for $3, I think that I will definitely be able to recoup my $3 at the flea market. 
The only items that I probably will look up just to see will be the Raggedy Ann and Andy clock, the Snoopy fire engine, though it is missing a piece, and then the animal Weeble Wobbles. You know, just to see if there are any collectors of these out there. Because even if I can list the three of them online, say for $10, then you know there, there's profit already so the rest is just extra profit at the flea market so i hope you enjoyed this fisher price toy unboxing and if you remember any of these from your childhood or from your children when they were little then drop a comment below and let me know what sparked a memory for you so thanks for watching hope you have a great day and i'll see you all next time